Mother of two, Shamim Wanesha, didn't want ongoing lockdowns to ground the sky-high ambitions of some of Uganda's children. Just before schools were closed across the East African nation, she founded the Supersonic Aviators. The club aims to keep children engaged and develop their interests in subjects like coding, aviation, space and climate change. Look at your browser. And it's especially focused on girls such as Rachel Amuron. I hope that one day I'll be able to discover biofuels, which planes can use instead of fossil fuels, which damage the environment. Just 16% of Africa's more than a billion people use the internet, according to the International Telecommunication Union. How to save the website. But coding skills open up a world of job opportunities. Click the file. Analysts also say technological innovation is a quick way to promote lasting economic growth and development across the continent. We learn different languages. For example, we learn HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Wanesha was inspired to learn herself after her seven-year-old son expressed an interest in coding and aviation. He became a sensation in Uganda for his impressive aircraft knowledge and budding flying skills. His mother used her own savings to start the supersonic aviators. It mainly caters to underprivileged children who do not have internet access. Classes are free of charge. We do flight experiences. We do camp aviation. We assemble aircrafts. They watch movies about space to motivate them. They took presentations. This has enabled them to be creative, creative, critical thinkers, and also problem solvers. There are currently 25 supersonic aviators, ranging in age from six to the late teens. But there are challenges. Restrictions mean lessons have to take place outside her compound. When Asia says it's sometimes too hot or it rains. With the length of Uganda's strict lockdown unclear, she's taken the club's activities online, determined that her students can keep aiming for the stars.